One day, Thomas was at the junction when Connor shuffled in with some freight cars. Phew! We mocked Thomas. What a funny smell. Can you smell a smell? I can smell a smell, said Annie. A funny, musty sort of smell, said Thomas. No one knows this is the you did, grunted Connor. It must be yours. Not long ago, he had fallen into a dirty pond. Thomas enjoyed teasing him about it. Annie, clear about, you know what I think it is? It's pond water. Before Connor could answer, Thomas puffed away. Any clear bell will probably bleed it is just rude. I feel quite ashamed. I feel quite ashamed. He's dreadfully rude. And Thomas said, You must be able to make us ashamed. But Thomas didn't care. That was funny. That was funny. He chuckled. He felt very pleased with himself. Any club bell was shocked. They had great respect for, for Connor. Thomas left the coach at the station and went to a mine for some trucks. Long ago, miners did provide and make tunnels underneath the ground to use a home to hold up cars. But not the way to vengeance. Watch, know this. Not to enter the area. Danger. And just not pass this board. Silly old board. Thought Thomas. He often passed but never succeeded. But this morning he had made a plan. The fireman went to throw the switch. Now for my plan, thought Thomas. Bumping the car furiously, he jerked his driver off the first place and followed him into the driveway. Come back, yelled his driver. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I'm sunk. And he was. Oh dear, he said. I am a silly engine. And a very naughty one, too. I saw you, says the top of hat. Please get me out. I won't do it again. I'm not sure. We can't whip you out for a claim. The ground's not firm enough. Hmm, let me see. I wonder if Connor, Percy, or Diesel can pull you out. Yes, sir, said Thomas, but he didn't want to meet Connor just yet. Down the mine, you see. <laughs> Laugh, Connor. What a joke. Come on, pussy. Thomas needs our help, said Diesel. Okay. Choo-choo, little Thomas. Diesel said, we'll have you out in a couple of puffs. Honk, honk, said Diesel. Choo-choo, said Connor and pussy. Strong cables were fastened between the four engines. Are you ready? Heave! It was more hard than your father, and the last Thomas was free. I'm sorry I was cheeky, Connor, said Thomas. That's all right, Thomas. You made me laugh, replied Connor. I'm in disgrace. So am I, suppose. Me too, said Diesel. Me free, said Thomas. And so you are, Thomas, who are in the lines. You help me, and I'll help you. Right you are, ugly Thomas. Good, that's settled, then, said Connor. Rumble Connor. I had to agree to proceed. Me too, said Diesel. And to buffer the buffalo, the allies puff home. Choo choo, honk honk.